as I was sitting before the Lord this morning, um, he started talking to me about something unexpected uh, and precious. Uh, but there were a couple of words of, of instruction uh, along with what he was showing me. And um, to give you a context uh, of, of one of the first words about um, uh, his blessings upon our lives. Uh, I'm going to, to tell you about my husband because that's who the Lord was was highlighting. And for the last year at our church, he has been supplying um, uh, 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 handouts, uh, tracts, uh, constitutions, um, uh, the life of Jesus through the Gospels uh, at his own expense, uh, on his own initiative, uh, without any fanfare, without telling anyone really other than one or two people that, that needed to know. Uh, but he's just been providing them. Uh, he's just felt led to do it, uh, and so he's done it. Uh, and um, so uh, the Lord was just uh, showing me uh, that he was going to reward him and he quickened a precious scripture uh, that is for all of us of course to take heart uh, and this is in Matthew 6 uh, in the Passion Translation it says examine your motives to make sure you're not showing off when you do your good deeds only to be admired by others otherwise you will lose the reward of your Heavenly Father so when you give to the poor, don't announce it and make a show of it just to be seen by people like the hypocrites in the streets and in the marketplace. But when you demonstrate generosity, do it with pure motives and without drawing attention to yourself. Give secretly and your Father who sees all you do will reward you openly. So what we do in secret with the, the, the right motive, uh, and this is in the context of giving, uh, giving uh, money, giving of ourselves, giving time, uh, uh, giving of ourselves, blessing, um, those things that we do in secret, God uh, is quickening that this is a time, uh, and this has always been true, but I believe it's especially true in this day that he is going to be rewarding us openly. And then the other thing, I, I was just contemplating and, and reviewing things as, as you probably do, I'm sure, before the Lord. And um, there was a time that uh, really, a few, even as much as a year ago, uh, that I would watch my, uh, what little uh, I've invested, my different investments, uh, whether it's stock, whether it's uh, other things, uh, just to see what was happening in the marketplace. And, and I watched it carefully, daily. Um, and I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that, but, but uh, I did realize that in the last six to eight months or so um, that I haven't done that. I haven't been at all uh, concerned about that. I've been at rest. I've been at rest. And the Lord quickened this morning uh, the scripture. And this is in Proverbs 23, verses 4 and 5. Do not weary yourself to gain wealth. Cease from your consideration of it. When you set your eyes on it, it is gone. For wealth certainly makes itself wings like an eagle that flies toward the heavens. So the Lord is saying, enter into the rest of faith. He's been talking to me a lot about that lately as well. Uh, we know Hebrews says that without faith it is impossible to please God. Um, and, and Hebrews 4 talks about uh, uniting our faith uh, or, or the Word of God and those promises He's made from the Word, uh, from a Word, the Word, uh, with faith. Um, and, and Hebrews 4 talks about the children of Israel, uh, that the word they heard did not profit them because it was not united by faith. Uh, they walked in unbelief. Therefore, they were not able to enter into the rest of God, into his rest. So I believe the Lord's word to us this day uh, on the cusp. Of, of great, great wealth, uh, I believe, uh, of great blessings, of, of a great outpouring of the Holy Spirit, to be at rest. Don't be striving. 
enter into that rest. Enter into the rest of faith. And you will receive all that God has promised you. In Jesus' name, amen.